Well, hey guys, welcome back once again to the HDR Garage. Today I have, first of all, we're going to do a little unboxing video, and I'll show you what we're unboxing today. Secondly, we're going to be installing whatever's in the box. So I think this is going to be a pretty good video, and we'll talk about this through, uh, through the session here. But yeah, welcome back once again, like I said, to the HDR Garage. And let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, guys, so here's the package that we're, on, that we're going to unbox here. And uh, it doesn't look like they made it too easy to unbox. So let me get my handy-dandy scissors out here. And we're going to be unboxing this thing. I don't want to scratch the paint, so I'm going to try to do it over here. Um, see if we can't just open this side up here without cutting my fingers off. So what is HDR putting on the motorcycle today? Well, we're going to be installing seat beads. We're going to be installing seat beads from Bead Rider. B-E-A-D-R-I-D-E-R.com. Bead Rider. So I'm guessing they're pretty much self-explanatory. I got the one for Mrs. HDR here on the back. This is a, uh, so for the Road Glide Ultra, Road Glide Limited or Limited, um, or any of the touring motorcycles, you're looking for a 10 by 12 inch for the rear seat. And for the front seat here, we're looking for a 14 by 14. I don't know if you can see that or not, if that's gonna focus, but. So what you have to do is take the seat off and these actually have um, straps on them. So the straps are going to go underneath your seat, and then you'll put the seat back on the bike. So we're going to see how easy this is to do. It shouldn't be that hard. It's not rocket science or anything here, I don't think. So we are going to uh, go ahead, take the seat off, put the beads on, and I'm going to show you how that uh, is, is taken care of there. So we'll try to get some really good shots here of it. Uh, once again, it's from Bead Rider. And these, they sell two different sets. These are not the wood set. These are the... Um, it's, it's more like a, like a marble, uh, more than wood. So it's a very good material. I heard do not buy the wood ones. I mean, unless you're trying to save about 40 bucks. Uh, this set right here cost me uh, $98. So $98 for a set of beads. We're going to put them on the bike. We'll talk about what they do once we uh, get them installed here. So let's go ahead and uh, do the install. Okay, so as you can see, the beads went on relatively easily. Um, not too much of a problem at all. Seeing how tight those straps are in there. I hate to ruin a seat, but the one thing that didn't record because HDR didn't hit the record button, uh, so you didn't see me actually pull the seat. So here's, I'm just going to do a recap. I'm not going to re-pull it. The first thing you want to do is, before you take your seat off, open your tour pack. All right, open your tour pack up, and then you can reach down in here without fighting with this backrest. This is just a little trick somebody sent me when I did a garage video, and they're like, HDR, open a tour pack. Like, then you get down in here, you take your screw out, and I take my screws and I put them in my tour pack on my glove just so I can see them. The next thing I did was I took off the driver's backrest, pulled the backrest off. Um, the next thing I did was open your saddlebag. You don't have to take it off, just open the saddlebag. And this passenger strap, unscrew it over here on the right. So I unscrewed it and just lay it over, okay? <laughs> and again, Take that screw and put it on your glove. That way you always know your screws are right there in your tour pack. You're not laying them somewhere in your shop and losing those. I pulled the seat off. I put the passenger uh, beads on first for Mrs. HDR. And then I put the driver's beads on for me up here in the front, which like I said, I hope they, uh, they will flatten out over time, I'm sure. So the driver's beads are on the front. Then once I got that all back together, I put the seat back in. I replaced the screw for the uh, seat. Then I replaced the, uh, the passenger strap, the hold down strap for the passenger. That's what that is. I don't know if you, you ever knew that or not, but it's for your passenger to hold on to if they feel they want to do that. Put the screw back in, closed my saddle bag. Um, then I went after that, I put the driver's backrest back in and the whole project was done, okay? Literally will take you as long as it takes to get the seat off, 
15 minutes maybe total to put your beads on your bike okay now these beads again as I said uh, they are not a sponsor I did buy these so they are not a sponsor of mine by any means this is from bead rider b-e-a-d-r-i-d-e-r.com bead rider okay so uh, again they're $99 uh, you can buy the wood set for about $50. They're made of wood. But wood and rain may not mix too well, so uh, I was told to get the better set of beads, and like I said, they're like $98 plus shipping. Cost about $107 to get them to the house. So, All right, let me readjust this camera now that we recorded that. I'm sorry I didn't record the install, but sometimes you just forget to hit record HDR. Been doing this a long time. It can happen to anybody. All right. Let's go ahead and readjust the camera and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these beads, what they're for and why we wanted them. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching this edition of the HDR Garage and installing these beads. So let's talk a little bit about what do these beads give you that you don't get with an OEM seat. First of all, the main thing is, as many of you know, myself and Mrs. HDR go on a lot of over road trips, okay? And we spend a lot of time in this seat. So the first thing is, what it does, it allows air to flow underneath of your butt. Now, if you've never had swamp butt before, then you might not know what I'm talking about. But what these beads will allow you to do is um, not have that swamp butt. So what swamp butt is, as Mrs. HDR would often tell you, is when she gets off the bike after three or 400 miles, and it's a hot day, it's like maybe 90 degrees outside, and you're riding in some major heat with not a lot of shade, you start to get really sweaty, okay? And you get to that point where you go into your hotel room and you gotta peel your pants off and like, like chisel your underwear off your butt because they're just glued to your butt from the sweat. Not very rewarding after a nice day of riding. So these allow airflow to flow underneath your butt to give you that barrier between just sitting on that leather seat and uh, sitting, you know, straight on the leather seat with your jeans. It picks you up a little bit and it allows airflow underneath your butt. So that's number one. Number two, many of you know I ride in all kind of weather. I ride in, you know, it could be cold outside. That could be one of them. And, and I've heard that these are not really great for cold weather riding, but what it is good for is rain riding. So a few weekends ago, we were down at VAM. Many of you have seen us there. And what it allows you to do is, as it's raining, no matter, and I bought a nice, a nice uh, rain suit, so even if you have a good quality Harley rain suit, you know, or whatever brand, after you sit in a puddle of water for a while, water will seep through that material. So when you're sitting on these beads and it rains, the water goes down and it dissipates over the side of your seat and it allows you to sit on a, on a constant dry surface the whole time. So you're sitting on these beads. And a lot of people, you know, say, well, those look like they're really hard and they're gonna hurt my butt. On the contrary. I'm going to show you a ride right after this uh, little statement here. I'm going to show you that uh, I went on a ride to test these beads out and um, I'll tell you my feelings about it and, and what I was doing uh, as I was riding the bike. But these beads, now I've owned Mustang seats, I've owned Sundowner seats, um, and there was another brand of seat that I owned. This is an OEM stock seat. But with these beads on it, it makes it feel like a brand new ride, like a brand new seat, like a contour seat. And it also, I found, is when you hit bumps, these allow your butt to contour to the, to the beads more, and you're not getting that, that jamming on your back. You're actually got a much smoother ride. It's just amazing how they work. And I, I just can't say enough about them. So those are the, the main areas, the main three areas that you're going to gain from buying these from beadrider.com. And again, I'll just say one more time that they are not a sponsor uh, to this, uh, these shows. Or they, they did not send these to me to uh, try them out. Um, I actually ordered these and actually by order of Mrs. HDR. She said, look, we're getting ready to go on a trip. I want those beads because I'm tired of sweating and sticking to that seat all day. So she wanted me to order them. So I pushed the gun uh, kind of as they said, pulled the trigger and I ordered the beads. So can't say enough about them. Easy on, as you've seen. Sorry we didn't do the actual install, but we did a great recap of it, so I think that's wonderful, and uh, it at least tells you how to do that, how to put them on. I mean, it can't be any simpler to put these things on here, so. 
All right, but thank you very much. Um, as I said, I'm going to leave here now. Um, as you see, I got some shorts on. So I'm going to go put my riding gear on and I'm going to go out and take us on the road. So you're going to see that video next. And, um, and I think I actually end the video on the ride. So we'll see how that works out. But if I don't, remember guys, ride your own ride. Be safe out there. Thanks for visiting me here. And uh, I'll be down and out in the beautiful HDR garage here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye, and we'll see you next time. All right, folks, this is the test ride with the, uh, the new Bead Rider Beach. You can't see them underneath my crotch. It's probably not a good idea to videotape your crotch anyway, so forget that. I can't tell you the initial reaction. It almost feels like you're riding on a brand new seat. Like it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's actually, it's more comfortable. So this, uh, it has more comfort to it already. I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, the next thing I noticed that it doesn't raise the seat height any. Um, I can still flat foot my motorcycle. So my seat doesn't feel like it's any higher uh, with the beads on. I think that's because when you sit on them, it kind of pushes them into your seat. Uh, a little ways. I mean, it's not going to ruin your seat. Don't worry about that. It is a little bit overcast out here, and I really don't want to uh, be out there too long. So I know it's going to rain at some point today. Where's my rain suit? Uh, hanging in the garage. That's where my rain suit is. <laughs> it's drying out from uh, last weekend, so. But so far they're comfortable. I mean, you actually, honestly, I mean, outside of seeing them there, you really don't even notice they're under your butt. The way they contour your, uh, the way they contour your cheeks of your butt there. So, so I figured I'd just take a short ride here to this country road to see how they do, and uh, get back to the garage, and. Uh, that should be it for the day. Then I got a bunch of videos to edit there and uh, get some videos coming out. This one will probably come out next Wednesday, I guess. So uh, I don't usually date my videos, but to be honest with you, today is Friday. So I got coffee with HDR. If you don't watch coffee with HDR, man, check it out. It's every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, this is actually show number 27 this week. So. People out here got crazy long driveways. Like you can't even see their house back in there, but there's a mailbox up there. That's just, it's crazy to me. People live so far down in the boonies there, but I'm sure it's nice and quiet. All right, again, so I would have to give it a thumbs up so far and um, we'll see on vacation how Mrs. HDR does with it. And uh, we'll see if she gives it a thumbs up. But uh, so far it feels, uh, feels really nice to me, so. I'd recommend it. You can buy them for any motorcycle. I think I forgot to tell you that. Not just Harley Davidsons. Just measure your seat. You measure the length and the width of the seat where you're where you're putting them at. And all you have to do then is go on their website and order them for your bike, whatever size seat you have. So it was very easy to do. And uh, and you actually put your model your bike in there. I guess just so they can double check. If they call you, be like, ah, you might not want those ones. You know, uh, listen to them. They know what they're talking about. They've been doing this for a long, long, long time. So once again, thanks for watching everybody, this uh, edition here, and um, hopefully we got everything together. I, I told you how to install them. It's very simple. Take you about 10 or 15 minutes, to pull your seat off and get your beads on and you're good to rock and roll, so. All right, well take care. Remember, Roger O'Reilly, be safe out there, huh? Harley Day Rider will be down and out in the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania, a little overcast. It's supposed to rain thunderstorms at four or five o'clock so we'll see how that goes down we'll talk to you next time bye for now everybody ride with beads under my butt beads under my butt that doesn't even sound good <laughs> oh man what a day <laughs>